I don't have enough time. The expression I absolutely cannot stand is that one. And I'm going to go through a couple of layers of the complexity of what that statement really means, how people misinterpret it, how it's hurting us as individuals and as a society. When is it actually true? When you say, I don't have enough time, most often, I think you're probably making an excuse, but that's also because you don't realize that you're not looking at what you're saying as a lack of choice. You see, we decide what's most important to us. So when we choose to do something, go to work, take care of the kids, make something healthy to eat, go out to a restaurant, watch a movie, go to bed early, get up early, those are all choices. We're choosing then what to do in the moment. Because time is a concept, it's a construct. We as humans have decided that there's a past and there's a future. That's the stuff that went before, that we can grieve about, that we can be frustrated we didn't achieve, that we can be longing for, or that we can look back on with fondness. And then there's the future. The stuff that's like, oh, I'm looking forward to this happening, or oh, I'm worried that I might not be able to accomplish this, or just fear of the unknown that's coming. But we only have now. Every word I'm saying one after another, as I say the word, it's present. As you're watching me speak, it's already happened. It's over, it's done, finito, gone. The present moment is all we have. Now, you've probably heard of flow state, right? When you're doing something that you love to do, maybe it's playing with your kids, maybe it's writing, maybe it's reading a really good book and suddenly you realize you haven't moved for half an hour or an hour and you've been lost in the story. Flow state takes you right out of a concept of time. You're just in it. You're in it until something else, another person interrupts you, or your stomach gurgles and says, oh, I'm hungry, or it's like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. And then you're suddenly out of that flow state. Or you love what you do for your career and your work, or you just love having kids and taking care of them. Here's probably the fun thing I will say. When someone says, I just don't have time, maybe they're taking care of kids. They've made a choice in their life to prioritize fostering, raising, taking care of, making money for their child so they can bring them up and help them exist in a hopefully healthy way and to grow and to thrive. In a way, that adult is subjugating their needs for their progeny. Or you're taking care of someone who is not well and ill. There's still choices because we could say, no, screw it, I'm not gonna do this. It's still a choice. So remember that time, in a sense, is a choice. How you choose to spend your time. If you say, I'm working at a career that's 60 to 70 hours and I can't do anything else, you've made a choice to work in that career. Own it. It's not right or wrong. It's your choice. But if your health is now crumbling beneath you, if you're on the verge of becoming diabetic, if your arteries are hardening, if you're on blood pressure medication, if you're taking something that actually now makes it more difficult to lose weight because you haven't been taking care of yourself, you're fucked. That makes life so much more challenging. In what I do is a health and fitness guy, the mind-body transformation coach. Health is an absolute priority to me. It is one of my top three core values. Vitality is the word I like to use for all the things that health and well-being mean to me. But have I sometimes prioritized other things? Yes, but I've never taken my health out of my core values. It's always been there. There's been a level of maintenance. Maybe I've had to prioritize something as my number one, like growing my business, but I've still found time to exercise. I've still found time to eat, and I didn't find time. I made it. Again, time is a concept. You choose what you're going to do. You're doing is something that happens one action after another, which is present moment continuously. I don't have the time. I think that's an expression that should be abolished from our language. Own your choices. I'm not blaming you. I don't want you to feel bad for anything I'm saying here. I do want you to think about if you don't put your health in your top three values, what happens when you lose it? How can you take care of your kids? How can you make enough money to support your life, your wife, your partner, your dreams, and your goals. How can you enjoy moving without going up a flight of stairs and being totally winded? It's not a life 
That's fantastic. If you've let your health go so far that you've maybe gone too far past the point of repair.